Hello one and all! In this video we are going to be looking at how to get your shotguns to scatter the enemy. Now the obvious answer would be get all legendary attachments, but that doesn't tend to happen in an average game. So let's get into our shotgun tips. The EVA 8 is an auto firing shotgun with a magazine size of 8. It's a great gun for those who love to hit fire like a panicked cowboy. Every bullet fired does 7 damage to the body and 10 to the head. So it is a pretty powerful gun if you hit centre mass. The EVA 8 fires pretty fast when holding the trigger, especially for a shotgun, and you can improve that further with the shotgun bolt attachment. This attachment increases the fire rate of every shotgun it is attached to, which is pretty handy in a firefight. It is especially useful on the EVA 8 as it will increase its already quick fire rate to demonic levels. I find the EVA 8 is best wildly fired from the hip, which is why I don't tend to hunt for a sight. But if I do happen to grab a one times hollow sight, then that won't hurt one bit. The EVA 8 fires 9 pellets with each shot in a roughly circular shape. With 3 rows of 3, these shells can decimate at close range, but won't be effective at more medium ranges, so make sure you get up in your enemy's face so you can see them cry. To recap, the best loadout for the EVA 8 is one with a shotgun bolt and possibly a one times hollow sight. I find the EVA 8 is actually one of the few rare weapons that doesn't require attachments to make it a viable choice in early to mid game. The God Tier Weapon, the Great Equalizer, the greatest gun of any shooter ever. These are all labels for the devotion. The Mozambique, on the other hand, exists. We all know the Mozambique is the awkward child of the shotgun pistol world, but to give it some praise, it does do damage. It has a magazine of three and it fires three bullets every pull of the trigger, which deals 15 damage to the body and 22 to the head. The shotgun bolt fire rate increase is definitely noticeable on the Mozambique which is why I'd say you need it if you're going to use this weapon in combat situations. The Mozambique barely has any recoil, but the iron sights can be a little distracting, which is why the one times HCOG works great with it. I also recommend you don't hit fire with this shotty as it isn't the most reliable. The Mozambique can also hold the one times digital threat, which highlights enemies when you aim down sights. You could combine that with Bangalore smoke canister as it will highlight them even when they're covered. Aiming down sights will also make the bullet spread tighter, meaning you're more likely to cause substantial damage. Substantial being a questionable word, but it's still damage. Speaking of, the Mozambique does actually have a spread pattern. So although it feels like you're missing every shot right now, if you learn it, you could kind of get maybe sort of good. The gun fires three shells of each of its three bullets and they land on the lines of its hip fire crosshairs. The devs obviously heard that the triangle was the strongest shape and ran with it. Not sure it worked here, guys. So if you fancy going ham with the Mozambique, you should try to find the shotgun bolt, a one times hollow sight and hope. A gun that is debated about its worth more than any other weapon in the game, the Peacekeeper is a viable close range shotgun. It fires 11 bullets per shot, dealing 10 damage to the body per bullet and 15 to the head. If you manage to land all 11 bullets, that's 121 damage or, if you're lucky enough, 165 damage every pull of the trigger to the head. Huge damage, huge, but only if you hit all of the bullets. This is why I love having the Peacekeeper with the precision choke. Without the precision choke, the shape of the bullets is like a star. The technical term is it is a scatter shotgun. While aiming down sights with the precision choke, you will notice your reticle will slowly focus into the center. This turns your bullet spread from a star to a focused circle, meaning you're more likely to hit the enemy with all of the bullets. Being able to do so makes the Peacekeeper a beast, as long as you're accurate, of course. The reason why there is so much debate regarding the Peacekeeper is about whether it is a great option in a 1v1 against someone with a faster firing weapon. The Peacekeeper has a long reload after each shot 
meaning the time it takes to get another shot out after your first one is quite slow. This gives your enemy plenty of time whilst you reload to cause damage. This is why you should aim to find the shotgun bolt for the peacekeeper. It enables you to get your next shot off faster, shortening the amount of time it takes between shots to prep the weapon to fire again. If you want to get the most out of the weapon, use a HCOG sight, especially when you have the precision choke. It makes everything a little clearer and precise. But this is very subjective as the precision choke animation when you ADS adapts to all sights available for the Peacekeeper. To recap, the Peacekeeper is best with a shotgun bolt, a precision choke and a HCOG sight. All of the attachments is what I'm saying. However, you can use the Peacekeeper without them all or even just with the shotgun bolt. The Peacekeeper is great and its effectiveness is more determined by your precision in short range fights. <laughs> the Mastiff is a monster! And although we couldn't add it to this list as it already comes filled with attachments, it would be a shame not to mention it. This shotgun fires 8 bullets per shot, deals 18 damage to the body and 36 to the head. Those are some ridiculous numbers. I can't even count that high. The bullets come out in a horizontal line so you can do lots of damage to multiple opponents or you can even aim down sight to reduce the spread and delete those heads. You can only get the Mastiff from supply drops, but when you do, wow. Just wow. The best loadout for the Mastiff is having nine more Mastiffs. So, there are the most viable loadouts for the shotguns. Do you have an opinion on the Peacekeeper as a weapon, or do you think the Mozambique is a secret beast? Let us know in the comment section below. Drop a like or a dislike, your life, your rules. Subscribe and ding that bell to be notified about our regular incoming videos. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.